repentance. What is repentance? Is there a man or a woman who has been trying to live a Christian life and has no joy in it, and no victory in it, and no song in it? I know that the reason it is they have never repented. They have started wrong. Repentance is the most neglected neglect doctrine in the New Testament and the most unpopular. People do not like to be called to repentance. And you do not often hear it preached. And yet the Bible is a handbook of repentance. It endures it, commands it, and so demands that no substitute can be accepted for it. Over 60 times the scripture enforces it and all the epistles are written so to show men how to repent so that no need to be in a fog as to what repentance means. Yet multitudes of people are a superior Repentance means a severe Christian life and the reason many churchgoers have no joy and peace in the Holy Ghost is because they do not obey the scriptures. Repent and believe the gospel. Mark 1.15 You ask what is repentance? It is not conviction of sin. Conviction is an element of repentance. But you can be converted without repenting? No. One repents until he is convicted. But not all who are convicted do repent. Conviction is not enough. It's not repentance. And except you repent, you should all likewise perish. Luke 13:3. Is sorrow repentance? No, it's not enough to be sorry for your sins. Something more than tears are needed. If repentance is not conviction, not sorrow, what is it? It is promising to do better. No, some of you have been doing that for years, and you are farther from God than ever. Is repentance rereading the Bible or praying? No, it's the saddest thing in God's Word, one of the most beautiful. What is it to repent? It's turning from sin to God. Again, it is turning from sin to God. Repentance is getting a hold of that which is your curse. <laughs> By the half of its head and tearing it out by the roots. Pride is one of them. Pride can be as demanding as darkness. It is. There is pride of faith, pride of place, pride of grace, and pride of race. We need saving from our good self, our religious self, our spiritual self as much as our bad self. Satan is very subtle and he cannot hinder by all badness. He will hinder by our goodness. If he cannot hinder us by our depths, he will hinder by our heights. If he cannot alienate us from God, he will hinder us by our self-righteousness. And if we are not careful, he will come to us as an angel of light. Pride, self-righteousness, shame, fraud, hypocrisy, lust, duplicity, and sin in your life which enslaves you, let it go. Kill it and all other things in your life that are wrong will sin slick will silk away like so many whip curds. What is repentance? Then it is the mortal response 
of the unwake soul. Have ye repented? Have ye turned from sin unto God? Be watchful. Strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember, therefore, how thou re received and heard and hold fast and repent. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous thereof and repent. Revelation 3. The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Receive him as your Lord today. Jesus loves you and Jesus died for you.